So here I have a fairly rudimentary model of a hand I made out of Lego to explain the concept of tenodesis grip used by spinal cord patients or tetraplegic spinal cord patients. I have here distal phalanx, middle phalanx, proximal phalanx, metacarpal. Um, I haven't included the carpal bones um, because it would have been too complex for me to make on Lego. So, uh, but we'll just treat it as one functional unit there. And I've got a uh, forearm there, which is a black bit. So, and then I've got three tendons. I have the wrist extensor here, which is this one, uh, which would be considered as extensor carpi ulnaris or radialis longus. And I have finger flexors on the other side, which What's this? This one's the flexor digitorum superficialis, which inserts into the base of the base of the middle phalanx, and flexor digitorum profundus, which inserts into the base of the distal phalanx. So, tenodesis grasp is a type of grip used by a passive grip used by tetraplegics, especially those with C6 to C7 tetraplegia where they have an intact C6 function, but nothing distal to that. What that means functionally is that they can do this, they can voluntarily extend the wrist, but they don't have the ability to flex the fingers or the thumb, or the opposed the thumb as well, which are primarily innovated by C8 and T1. So the mechanism is fairly simple. Um, you've got this tendon that runs on the palmar surface of the hand, um, and that gets shortened or that gets tight or taut as you extend the wrist and you can see it in yourself as well if you extend the wrist you get a passive flexion of the fingers so to demonstrate that on this I'm just gonna have very tight flexors, finger flexors there and if I pull the extensor, the wrist extensor, you get deflection at MCP. Let me just see if I can show that a bit clearly. Obviously this isn't a full-sized proper model, but just to show the concept. So if I pull on the wrist extensor, there we go, you get the passive flexion at, primarily at metacarpal phalangeal joint, but also a little bit at interphalangeal joints, as you can see. So that's a fairly clever system and it's a big difference to the quality of life of patients uh, if they've got C6 function that's a big advantage to them thank you